Well, do you ever see little strings or cobwebs in your vision? Ophthalmologist Dr. Sandy Feldman is here to explain if it's something we should worry about or just something that's just annoying. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, it's a pleasure to be here today. Well, you know, talk about floaters. You know, some of the people were trying to explain to me what they were. I've never had them personally, so what are floaters? Well, a floater is a little dot or a squiggly line that appears to dart or move around as you move your eye. And if you try to look at them, you can't actually see them because they move away. So these are things, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would be kind of concerned. What causes these? Well, inside the eye, the eye's made up of a jelly-like substance known as the vitreous. As we age, the gel begins to shrink. And as it shrinks, you get little strands that cast reflections or shadows on the retina. So it appears as a little floater. The spot moves around. So you actually can see that reflection or that shadow. Yeah, it's almost like if you're sitting in the sun, you know, and the sun's behind you and you're standing there, you see your shadow on the ground. It's the same thing, but it's happening inside the eye. I'm, you know, that's something I, I guess, you know, that I would be concerned about. Who, who is more likely to get them? And really, um, is this something um, that we need to treat? So um, it's an aging change of the eye. So most of us begin to experience it between the age of about 45 and 75. If you're nearsighted, you have diabetes, or you've had cataract surgery or refractive lens implants, you're more likely to experience this at an earlier age. I would be a little concerned just because it does, in some ways, it doesn't totally impede your vision, doctor, but it does um, create some impairment. So, you know, how, you know, should I see my doctor about this? When should I be concerned about it? Well, first of all, they're really, really annoying. You know, because you think that something's moving around, you have a little gnat in your eye, and you may even swat at it. Most of the time, if you blink and you move your eye, they'll move out of the way. However, if they're very dense, very numerous, then sometimes, and it's affecting your vision, and it's really affecting your vision, then sometimes the fluid inside the eye can be removed surgically, and it's known as a vitrectomy. If you have a sudden increase in the number of floaters, I always tell patients, get to know the number that you have. If you have a sudden increase or a change in your vision or flashing lights when you're closing your eye, you wanna go see a doctor immediately. So if you're experiencing floaters for the first time, call your eye doctor and make sure you get your eyes dilated and go in for a visit. All right, Dr. Sandy Feldman, you know what? It is important to remember, like if it does impede your vision, I mean, that's really the main thing. Make sure that you go in and get it treated because you don't want to have any problems seeing at all. Correct. All right, for more information, just log on to fox5sandiego.com and of course, click on the scene on tab.